last verse right here. Uh, Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Woo, get your head chopped off. Hey, man, the brothers in uh, L.A., man, on that uh, Behold, I Come Quickly, they did an uh, open forum, but basically on striving for perfection. And the main brother that I was speaking, he posed a question. Uh, his brother used to say the same thing a lot. Man, basically, when they say the Lord was here, was on the scene right now, would you be able to walk to him, up to him with a good conscience, man? Shit. Or would you be in fear? Right. Like I've been bullshitting, man. Right. Yeah. I know I ain't been doing right, right. man. Uh, uh, when the, when your house shot come back, cause he come, he is coming back. That's what I'm about to say. That's, Go that's ahead, what bro. I'm about to say, brother. Or what about in in, in your day of judgment? Yeah. yeah. We gonna face your house shot, right. man. Yeah. Like you wanna have that spirit saying that uh. I mean, you want to basically be blameless. Blame, come on. That's right, brother. Because hey, if you're second guessing right yourself, yeah, damn, that, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I might have, I might not. I mean, you want to be confident in the, in the faith. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Exactly. So, go ahead, brother, back to this come Zechariah. On. This is Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. So, you got the furnace of adversity. But literally, the Lord is going to bring the elect out of the fires of destruction of yep. America, man. So as the missiles are, are uh -huh. coming down, the elect going to be going up. Yep. Yep. And that's going to be beautiful, man. Yep. Lord willing, we're in that number. Uh -huh. But like the brother just said, like, like the scriptures say, you know, I'm confident in the hope that I might be saved. Right. I'm confident in that hope. And you're confident when you're doing... <clears throat> yep. When you give it all you got in this rehearsal. Yep. That's right. In this because rehearsal. when when game day come, if you didn't been giving it all you got to the best of your ability, you confident. You yep. like, I know I'm ready. I can go the yeah. whole twelve rounds. You'll be looking, you know, you be looking at the other team, you say, Oh man, we, we got this. Yeah. Because you been you been practice yep. Yep. rigorously. Yep. Vigorously. And then you might be ready for game day. You, know? you might be was, like the other niggas or the other people on the team. They might not be ready, but I've been doing what I got to have yeah. to do. And what you, you know? do too in that process of getting ready for that fight or that game, you study film of your opponent, man. You, you examine your. coming up against, man. Yep. Come on. I'm sorry, right? You examine yourself, and what you're examining is your, where you weak at. To, to edify them weaknesses. Yep. Same thing in the, if on a yeah, corner right, sense. You know, if you that's preparing right. for a war or a physical war or a game or some type of sport, you got to examine, I got to work on this. I got to right. work on that, you know? You got to do that in this truth too, man. You got to go back and watch the clips so you bringing it out. And like, damn, I could have right. edified that point a little bit more. I slipped up on this. Oh, I need to be more clear on Come. this. Yeah, be your hardest critic, man. And you got some niggas that, that do so much talking. I'm talking about like in a, in a corner sense, but you, I'm relating it to the truth. They do so much talking like they big and bad and they got so much game that other people believe that shit. Yeah. And then really, uh, somebody that's really good and, and really... You know, no technique and what whatnot. They can see that this dude ain't nothing but talk. Yeah, he really ain't yep. got no skills. Boom Same team. thing in this truth. You can see a certain cats do so much wolfing and talking like they righteous and they know the scriptures and they this that and the third. Hill hook. That Hill people hook. you get <laughs> weak man. niggas that believe that bullshit. Right. Yeah. That's right. Hey man, for you to follow that fucking nigga in uh in Atlanta. You can tell, like, Elder Hart kept pointing out that one nigga that was supposed to be on post and he still turned around. Wow, my Elder. Smiling when this motherfucker don't know what the fuck he talking yeah, about. My ranking officer is cutting the He book. did at certain points he was accurate on, but for the most part, he was off, man. Mm -hmm. Them niggas Dealing with I emotion, bring it out with pure emotion, man. Getting pissed off because you getting confronted with the truth. Oh, yeah, man. They hate. Right, you ain't hey, supposed hey, to get mad when you get confronted with the truth. You're yeah. supposed to deal in the street. That's scriptures. right, bro. Yeah. Well, we, we, that's right. right. No, that's yeah. right. You got a man dealing, being equitable with you, saying, okay, you right on that point, you right on this. Oh, yeah, that's right. But you just want to be a, a fucking demon, man. That's 
wicked, man. You don't never mock the name of the Most High. Right. Whether y'all say y'all don't know it or not, don't make light of somebody that do believe. Yeah, he had to do it for that. And the Elder Gabar did a beautiful, he showed the perfect example in the scriptures. If you watch it on the, the, the GMS mailbag on somebody that, that mocked the name of the, of, the, of the Most High, and the Most High killed his ass. Hmm. Alright, let's continue. This is Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. Shit, man. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my God. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. That's right, that, that the elect, that, that, that one third gonna call on his name, man. And the Most High shall hear us. He hears us, man. And, and, and he see us out on the highways and byways preaching the gospel, man. For the elect's sake, in the, in the name and the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And it's, and it's beautiful, man, all over the globe, man. We got brethren doing the same exact thing speaking the same exact thing yep. man so uh yeah uh we're at the limitation fourth chapter the son the sons of zion showing you that yeah man we are we are the the, the fine gold man and the silver uh, like the, the brother just read we're being refined you know as as gold in the furnace as silver Start from the top. Verse. You can start from the top. Limitations 4.1. How has the gold become dim? Right. How is the most fine gold changed? Yeah. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? That's right, man. The sons of Zion, man, comparable to fine gold. Right. When we wasn't going off. Right. When we was on point. That's why I say how, how have they became yeah. earthen vessels, man. Yeah. Vessels right. wherein is no honor, in other words. When we were silver, fine silver and fine gold. Uh -huh. Read that again. Get a Lamentations 4 and 2. The precious sons of Zion comparable to fine gold. Oh, oh start at the top. Uh, first Limitations one. 4 and 1. Come. How has the gold become dim? Right. How, it, How has the gold become dim? Because we, we kept not the law, statutes, and commandments that our Father gave us to set us apart as a special people. We saw that our own ways. We saw that many inventions, therefore becoming dim. Go ahead, I. How is the most fine gold changed? Huh. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out into the top of every street. Yep. The precious sons of Zion are comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Yep. They give suck to yep. their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, yep. like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the, of the sucking child cleave it to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young child acts, acts bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. Yeah, now see, we bring this out for the black woman, but this is actually talking about Nate. This is talking about you, Baloo. This is talking about you. Johanna, this is talking about you. Go go back to the sea monster verse. Lamentations four and three. Even the sea monster draws out the breast. They get they give suck to their young ones. Mm -hmm. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. So how they become cruel because it's comparing Jake unto a sea monster that it said even the sea monster draws out yeah. the breast to give yeah. suck. But it's saying that you niggas right. won't even give. Well, what is this word, man? White man, milk. Ooh. That's right. Yeah. 
let, let's get it, brother. Uh, Isaiah 28. Hey, brother. You have something? Now I got that word, dim. Oh, okay. In the Hebrew. Bring it on out while the brothers get this. Yeah, if you look it up on the on the blue letter, it's I mom, uh, I, I, I mom, I mom, I mom, yeah, I mom. And it says, to dim, darken, grow dark, uh, eclipse, to, to uh, uh, be held dark, to become dim, grow dark. So that, that and, and, like, hey, we brought this out last week that this truth is a light, man, and that light was yep. given unto Israel, and that that light come as Yahweh Shai, man, from the Father. But so when you when you lose your light, which is this truth, this word, you become dark. So that that's right. how the fine gold became them. We we cast this word off from us. Like I said, we saw that many inventions. So like the brother said, them means to, to make dark, man, yeah, or to that's... become dark. It said, the brother read Eclipse. Eclipse, yeah. You know? Yeah, we, we was e eclipsed with wickedness. Yeah. And became, grew dark, them. We, we became them. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's right. That's on point, man. Yep, yeah, all these other philosophies of darkness. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you got all this darkness in the world, man, in the form of religion, yeah. uh, education, yeah. you know. Some some people cleave to they a lot of these atheists, man, they 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 uh quote unquote educated people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They don't believe in God. You know. Science. Con. You don't even know if it wasn't for the most high, you wouldn't even have science. Right, man. Yeah. But yeah, brother. Let's just show that this this word is milk, and this is what we should be feeding Jake with, man. Right. This is Isaiah 28 and 9. Who shall he teach knowledge? And who shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Right, so you teach doctrine to those who are weaned from the milk, which is the, the sincere milk. basic yeah. truths of this word. And then they ready to get meat. But that's what the milk is, the basic sincere truths of this word. Yeah. If you get milk, I I forget it. In oh, the Hebrew, oh come. Let me I know in the Greek, when you go to milk, it's gala, G-A-L-A in the Greek, and this and it's basically the the the, the uh basic basic truths of of, of the, the word. But uh, I'm not sure in the Hebrew. But the brother gonna get it right quick. But but right, read on. Uh, start from the clock while they get it. This is Isaiah 28 and 9. Isaiah, oh Isaiah. Come on. Yeah. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk. Right, them that are grown, they basically been established. In the, in the foundations of this word and been edified properly and built up off the milk. So they've been weaned from the milk, the, the, the simple truths of this word, and now they're ready for meat. Right. Go ahead, brother. And drawn from the breast. And they're drawn from the breast. Then that's, that's talking about this word, man. Yeah. So, right, teaching this word to a new Jake, you drawing at the breast, so to speak, giving them the milk, right. Uh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. What is what it say? I? It's uh, I uh, I bought. I I. That's this. That's this clown. Fuck, shit. Man. Yes, uh, I. Yeah, I bought. Yeah, I bought. That's what it is. Okay. With a high on the end, but the, it's I buy. I buy da. Uh high. So I bod, which means, hold on, this ain't the right word, because a bod is, I must have, oh, that's for labor, oil. that's for labor, this for milk. I'm sorry, that oh, was okay. for labor, that was for labor. Yeah, uh, that, okay. This is for, uh, that makes sense. Kalad, kalab, kalab, for milk, kalab. And it says milk, source milk, cheese milk. Abundance, 
of the land as a metaphor white as milk, milk cheese sucking so called alright well, I mean, yeah really to suck milk of nations uh, to make uh, to make their wealth one's own okay so but when you go to the New Testament and Paul talks about desiring the sincere milk yes, of sir. the word it's, it's gala which meaning we, we need to be desiring the, the, the simple truths and, and you know getting built up on the basics yeah De desiring the basics and that's basically what what we're reading right now is, is uh you teach knowledge and 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 understanding to those who have already grown in the basics yeah right you know and then it's showing you when you read the next verse that it's talking about the scriptures that's right go ahead. Might make a comment real yeah, quick bro. and then that's the, the uh that's your foundation yeah mm -hmm. because before you can start building or being weaned like the brother going in off the, the breast you gotta you gotta be uh established you gotta have that foundation have to even foundation. start building you know that's right man and that's why the the, the elder Tahar said you know if a, if a new guy do come into the camp he hold post or you know maybe he might man the camera but he don't say shit for at least the first three to four months or however long it takes but new, new guys come in the camp don't need to say shit because they need to be on their titty yeah, on right. their teeth on they need to be like the babies talking no, no, when they come in no. no how you gonna focus about what the word coming out and, and, and being edified and shit because even when you speak and well, reading you being edified constantly exactly but that's why the most high got Rashad up out of here yep yeah, yeah. He constantly wanted to, hey, want to get on the yeah, want to speak. Yeah. Yeah. What's that nigga rich? Yeah, he always wanted to be in the camp. 